Hey guys, this is Gossip Girl PK and today's video will be a review on this guy right here. This is the all new Holiday 2018 palette from Hourglass. It's called their Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked. And like I said, it's their holiday palette for this year. This is what it looks on the inside with six different shades and this is what it looks like on the outside. A bronze mirrored packaging, classic Hourglass, a fingerprint magnet, but still classic Hourglass. So this is their first holiday palette that I really own. I don't own any of the previous holiday palettes, but when I saw them reveal this on their Instagram, I was like, wow, this has my name written all over it. And I'm, the timing was perfect. My birthday was just two weeks away and I was like, I'm gonna get it for my birthday. Something I do every single year. I know it might, might sound stupid, but every year I buy something high-end or luxury for myself that I wouldn't otherwise, or that I would just been eyeing for a while. I just treat myself with it around my birthday. And so this year, I got this. It retails for $80 and right now it's available on the Hourglass website, Sephora.com and Cult Beauty in the UK. Uh, it is a limited edition palette, but as of today, when I'm filming this video, it is very much available on all three of these websites and is yet to come on Beautylish very, very soon as well. Hourglass has always been a cruelty-free brand and they pledged to go completely vegan by 2020. And this is actually one of their first ambient lighting palettes that's completely vegan, which is pretty awesome. The palette has six exclusive shades in a variety of different finishes. These are all new shades and cannot be bought individually on the Hourglass website or basically anywhere. I'll do a split screen here in a moment and we'll show you guys a demo of me applying these on my face as I talk about them um, because I am actually wearing all six of these on my face today. So I think it makes more sense that I actually talk about them in the same order that I applied these to my face. Starting off with this guy over here which is the bronzer in the palette. This is their bronzer in the shade Golden Bronze Light and obviously these are all Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder Formulas, so if you haven't ever tried or worked with these, it's important to know that all of them will have shimmer in them, some more than others, but at the end of the day, all of them will have shimmers in them. Uh, but the shimmer in the Hourglass formula is so fine that it does not really show up on the skin as shimmer, but rather a very skin-like, beautiful glow from within, which is exactly what this bronzer does for you. Now, typically I hate shimmers in my bronzers or contour kind of products. I just don't like the feel or the look of glitter in that area. But again, like I said, with the Hourglass products, it just gives your skin a very healthy glow and it doesn't look odd. This bronzer, in my opinion, is also very universally flattering. It's a beautiful shade. It's not too cool, not too warm, so it doesn't look orange or gray on your skin and does exactly what a bronzer is supposed to do. Give your skin some warmth while also very slightly and gently chiseling out your cheekbones and just overall giving your face more structure. There are two blushes in the palette, these two right here. This one in Mood Flush is a beautiful mauve pink. Uh, it's definitely darker of the two and it's definitely one that has, doesn't have as much shimmer as the other one. So it will look a little more matte upon application. I love that it's so buildable. So it, you don't end up applying too much right away and you don't get those clown cheeks. But if you wanted to build them up to show up on darker skin tones, you can definitely do that because you are able to build these colors up. This one in Nude Glow is the more shimmery or glowy one out of the two, and the name is perfect. It's a nude blush with a bunch of golden shimmer to it, which will make it glow beautifully on the skin. I've been enjoying both of these individually as well as paired together, which is how I'm wearing them today. I would take this one in Mood Flush and apply it on this entire region, and then I would go in with this one in Nude Glow and apply it right here on the apples of my cheeks. Now, normally I would go in with a lighter blush on the entire cheek area and then the darker one just on the apples of my cheeks to give my cheeks a more rosy glow. But with this, since this one has a little more shimmer to it, I reversed that a little bit and I still love the way that they both look together. Next in the palette is this guy, which is the highlight of the palette. This is their Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder in the shade Champagne Strobe Light. And it's just this beautiful champagne highlighting shade, which again, in my opinion, is universally flattering and just looks so beautiful on the skin tone. Again, I love that this is a very buildable product. It will look beautiful if it's sheared out. It will look beautiful if it's just very, very strong. I have been applying it using this brush over here. Again, I've been loving this brush to apply basically all of my highlights it's from a Chinese brand of brushes and essentially it's just a teeny tiny 
fan brush. So if you go in onto your cheeks like this and apply any highlight, it will just sheer it out and will make it look like just a soft wash of glow on your cheeks. But if you turn this around and apply it on the highest points of your cheekbones, it will just make your highlight pop even more. And because it's so teeny tiny, it will just be very, very precise and will give you an intense glow just in a very, very targeted place. Today, I use both of these techniques to apply this ambient strobe lighting powder on my cheeks. And throughout the week, I've been using either way to apply this highlight. And I love whether it's sheared out or it's more intense. I love it in all of its forms. All right, and finally we have these two powders over here. These are called finishing powders or they're just your original ambient lighting powder formulas. This one is in the shade soft light and then this one is in the shade filtered light. Today I'm using them both mixed in together and that's essentially how I've been using them every single day over the past week or so. I would just take a brush like this, something that would be good for a buffing technique, would mix in both of these together and would just start buffing my face. After I've applied my powder, blush, bronzer, highlight, all of those products. This would kind of like be my last step before the setting spray. I would take those powders and would just start buffing my face in a circular motion. And it would just magically make everything look flawless. My face would look airbrushed. My bronzer, blush and highlight would just look like the one with the skin. And that is what buffing technique essentially does. So you don't necessarily need an $80 or a $46 ambient lighting powder to do so, but I feel like the combination of buffing technique along with the hourglass ambient lighting formula is a match made in heaven. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to catch the difference in the demo on the screen where I have used the buffing technique with these powders on half of my face and not the other half, because all obviously these lights and everything, they do diffuse light on my skin and it makes it look a little better than it actually is in person already but in person on a mirror i can totally 100 percent see a difference if i have used the buffing technique on one side of the face and not on the other side i can totally see a difference now granted that the buffing technique is amazing as it is its combination with the ambient lighting powders is a match made in heaven because it will amplify the airbrushed impact of buffing technique so many times and it will just make your skin look flawless and absolutely incredible. Now, even though this is a new formulation, because obviously they had to switch to 100% vegan formulation, I don't necessarily see a difference in the way that they perform on my skin compared to like their older formulas, which of course were not 100% vegan. I just feel like they perform just as beautifully on my skin and I love them just as much, if not more. So without a doubt, it's an amazing product and I would 100% recommend it. But I also wanted to quickly take a moment and address something else as well, because I know that in the past, the Hourglass Holiday Palettes have been heavily criticized for being a ripoff, for not having enough product and other things like that. And I can see where people are coming from. I can 100% see why they're so upset. I mean, come on, this is a full-size ambient lighting powder from Hourglass. You get 10 grams of product in here and you pay $46. Now let's take a look at the holiday palette from Hourglass. Here you are getting six different shades at 1.4 grams each. Let that sink in. You're getting six shades at 1.4 grams each. That adds up to a total of 8.4 grams in this entire palette. So here you have an hourglass ambient lighting powder that gives you 10 grams of product, retails for $46. Here you have another hourglass palette that gives you 8.4 grams of product, retails for 80. That is pretty insane. I can see why people get so upset about it, but I can also see where hourglass is coming from. I am a marketing expert. I have my degree in business administration and marketing, and so I know that a lot goes in pricing a product. It's not just about quantity. There's so much more that goes into pricing a product. And so I kind of can see where Hourglass is coming in from as well. Now universally, no matter what brand you want to pick, you'll see that their cost per gram for their base or their finishing products, for example, their loose powders or their hard pressed powders or any of those finishing or base products will be significantly lower than their other powder products, for example, their blushes, bronzes, highlights, eyeshadows, it will be significantly higher for them. Case in point, the full-sized blushes from Hourglass. In this blush, you're getting 4.2 grams of product compared to 10 grams of product in the ambient lighting powders. And the retail price is 38 compared to 46. So you're getting less than half the product for way more than half the price. So again, like I said, the cost per gram on, a, on something like blushes would be significantly higher. So when you're buying a palette like this, it's important to keep in mind that you're not just getting their ambient lighting 
powders, which is the cheapest cost per gram in their ambient lighting powder formulas. It's just as simple as that. And secondly, and that's something that would probably be not as technical and easier to understand, it's no secret that whenever you buy something in bulk or in a larger quantity, you pay lesser money for it. For example, you walk into your nearest departmental store, there are two packagings of mineral water, flavored mineral water. You have a smaller one that's like 250 mils of product. It retails for, let's say, $5. Then you have a bigger 2.5 liters of product and it retails for 40. Now, if you were to buy 10 of these bottles individually, you would end up paying $50. Whereas if you bought this 2.5 liters of product all at once, you'll end up paying just $40. And you'll be saving $10 if you buy in bulk. No matter what your reasoning is, if you're buying 10 of these smaller bottles, maybe you want to try different flavors or maybe you just think that paying $5 at once is simpler than paying $40 at once. Whatever your reasoning might be, at the end of the day, when you buy things in smaller quantities, you end up paying more money eventually. So I think a more reasonable comparison would actually be their smaller travel size products. Now Hourglass sells these small travel size mini products of their ambient lighting powders, some bronzers and blushes as well, that all retail for $22. Now if you wanted to get a taste of some of those shades and you bought all of them individually, say you buy six of them individually, you will end up with the exact same product because all of those mini travel size products come with 1.4 grams of product each exactly the same amount of product that you're getting in here. So if you buy six of them individually, you'll end up paying $132. So in light of that, I think $80 is not that bad, is it? Now don't take me wrong, I'm not saying that at $80 it's a steal, it's still a lot of money, $80 is a lot of money. What I'm trying to get here at is that if you had the budget and the resources to buy this product, if you wanted to buy this product but were put off by the idea that it's a ripoff, then don't let that stop you because you're not getting ripped off. You're getting an amazing product from an amazing brand, a luxury makeup brand, and you're absolutely getting your money's worth. And lastly, I also wanted to take a moment to appreciate and congratulate Hourglass on coming out with a holiday palette that has the potential to caters so many different skin tones, which is something that they seriously lacked in their previous holiday releases that catered more towards the lighter skin tones. This palette, in my opinion, has the potential to work for a lot of different skin tones. So yeah, guys, that pretty much rounds up my thoughts on the new Hourglass Holiday Palette. Uh, it's beautiful, absolutely worth it. Uh, and I do feel like, especially if you have never tried the Hourglass formula and if you've been wanting to, then I think it's a great palette to actually get a taste of everything from this line. You get a beautiful large mirror, six incredible face products all in one place, which makes it an amazing travel palette as well. So I just overall think you should definitely get your hands on it if you wanted to. It's a limited edition product. Once it goes out, it's never going to come back. So I would say get your hands on it while you can. Hourglass is actually one of my favorite high-end brands. I don't think I've ever tried anything from them that I've not ended up loving. Today's comment question is, what are your thoughts on these holiday palettes being ripoffs? Do you think they are ripoffs or do you agree with me? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you thought this was helpful. But yeah, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.